that we've learned a lot about making assumptions. And it all starts with, uh, in many cases, the ride to the hotel. How do you know in this environment whether you're valued, not valued, whether you're seen, uh, or whether you're pretty much discounted. Does anybody have any cues that they watch yeah. for? I knew that I was noticed because he just said, let me help you, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I started wondering, I mean, does this guy think I'm so old that I can't help myself? It's very easy to know because I have a visible disability that I will need help in some way. And the way people ask me for help is really important. I like people to say, may I help you? Can I help you? Tell me how I can help you. I don't like people treating me like a shopping cart and grabbing the chair and whipping me around before they ask if they can help me. Everybody's got something about them, I think, that sets them off from somebody else, whether it's the color of your skin, your sexuality, uh, if you have a disability. Check it in. Yes. Last name? It's Whitaker. Okay. Do you want two double beds or one? King size bed, mm -hmm. and uh, and that's where you have to. That's where you out yourself. They'll assume that we're business friends, or we want different rooms, or we want different beds. And then when you have to ask for that, especially, and sometimes it just makes you feel like you're uncomfortable already because that person made assumptions about me that they didn't know. Do you prefer a king size bed or two doubles? Uh, king size, please. Okay. And how would you like to take care of these today? Well, I'll put it on my credit card. Most of the time, I think they see the two two men traveling together. They just offer two double, two double beds, so she and did they would the leave it that at that. She so she it let it let it be our choice, your choice. which is better. Mm -hmm. And so she made no assumptions. Exactly, mm -hmm. which we felt was very important. You know, we're here to provide a service, and that's what we do. And the guest is paying for the room. We take care of them and give them the utmost respect. Right, mm -hmm. and also then she just moved on and just got through the transaction flawlessly. Mm -hmm. It had, we appreciate that because to us, we weren't looking for a hassle or a confrontation of any kind. Mm -hmm. All we got was respect. The person behind the desk says, what is your name? And I say, Raul Isaguirre. And if they laugh, that's a turn off. If they say, what? That's a turn off. If they say, that's an interesting name. I don't know how to pronounce it. Would you pronounce it for me again? Oh, and, and, and make some effort to, to show that that something as personal, as intimate as your name is given importance, then that makes a big difference. Oftentimes you feel uh, as you check into a hotel or as you do business that they're looking for your male companion. Um, that's the person who's going to register for the room, that's the person who's going to check in, that's the person that you need to talk to and do the business with. My uncle and I would check in, both of us being physicians here, much older than I am. His room comes equipped with a fax machine and that's just automatically where he's directed. And the question about me is, do I want to have adjoining rooms? Women first need to be recognized. I'm here, I am the businesswoman, I am the business person. I will be the one making the decisions, I will be the one checking in, and uh, I will be the one paying the bill. I have stood in line checking in and heard men ask, what do they need? Are there any business needs? And gotten, I mean, this has happened twice, and gotten up to my place in line, and I'm not asked that question. Oftentimes, it's as if we're invisible. They're looking sort of over your shoulder to see if they were parking the car or paying the attendant or whatever, and they'll be, the real person will be joining you shortly. How are you doing today? Okay. Checking in? Uh-huh. Okay, man, we can try right over here. Oh, I can't go to the main desk? When I check in, all the counters are always so high because they, they're for people who stand and register that I feel like they treat me like a second-class citizen. If I didn't meet someone at the door like this, then I would go to the front and then I would expect that everyone at the front desk knows that there's a special window or, or another lower area for me to use. I mean, ideally, it would be at the front, you know, where everyone else checks in. I assume when I go to a hotel and I travel a lot that the room, the, the uh, quote, accessible room is going to be nothing, nothing like accessible. Can I ask you a little bit about the accessible room that sure. you have? 
Um, is it a roll-in shower or is it a bath? It's a bath. It is a miracle if, you know, besides grab bars, the standard grab bars in the bathroom, it would be a miracle if I can actually get under the desk that they put in the room, that I can actually reach the phone. Here we go, you're all set. And to get to this room is really close by. It's just down this corner to your left. Do you want us to assist you to your room? Sure, I have. I need help with the bags, okay. and I'll need help um, unpacking the bags. Sure, the that's no problem at all. Let me okay. get one of the bellmas to help you out. Janet did a really good thing. She asked, um, you know, what are the things that you need, and do you need someone to help you with the bags? I mean, you, you that's a normal question yeah, that you would ask anybody. So I got up, and I checked out. I was all ready, and there was no cab. It became clear that no cab was going to come. And there was a black guy who had been cleaning the floor and everything. So they then went off and and they kind of whispered to each other and the black guy then came out and said, she, the white woman at the desk, is uh, gonna let me take her car and uh, I'm gonna drive you to the airport, which he did. I have never been in any business establishment where just ordinary people whose supervisors went around decided that they were going to go out of their way and give me service that way, so I love Marriott.